Hey everyone, it's Lisa from Dana August Nails. Welcome back to the channel. Okay, listen, I'm in the bathroom again. What you gonna do? I don't, I don't know what we can do at this point. <laughs> if I'm not in the bathroom, I can't do these voiceovers. So let's call it the Bathroom Chronicles. Anyway, so I'm doing a short coffin and you've seen me do some press-ons before. It's pretty much the same length where I've just gone into a lot about the tapering, the shaping, the all of this. So I skipped all that. And you know I've already applied like a protein bond or something. Anyway, this color is from Lavender Violets. And it is color number, I think it's color number seven. But anyway, it's from that little mini kit that I have. So I've already gone in with the first layer, coming in with the second layer. Now, at this point here, I have mixed, I think I've mixed maybe sheer pink from Young Nails. Um, possibly 1147 from uh, Model 1's along with that Lavender Violet's pink initially because I'm really trying to create the shade of pink that there I go again adding um, a bit more of the there you go see me there I'll be I'll be adding and of course I'm adding some top coat because I really don't want it to be as concentrated anyway so right was what was I saying oh 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 okay because this is that classic pink and white French. You know what? We actually called it here in the Bahamas. We actually named it Tammy Taylor after Tammy Taylor. And you know that woman taught us everything we know about them French. Uh, well, anyway, I'm trying to create that pink. That pink that was like in that, ac that perfect acrylic color. Anyway, because we used to do ours quite dark. You know, not as light as you guys would have done it, um, I guess, in the States. But anyway, we did it quite dark. So I'm going for almost like a freaking, like a dark, not, not really a dark pink, like a, well, like a darker Barbie pink with an undertone of like a deep peach. You know what I mean? Anyway, so I went with two coats of the first Lavender Violet's color and then one coat of this concoction. And I, you know, I think we got it. So I'm taking, I want to say, yes, this is Lavender Violets. This is a white from Lavender Violets. Also, again, from that mini kit. You've seen me use it a million times on this uh, on this channel. Um, so I'll probably link it or something if it's still available on Amazon. Y'all know Amazon be tripping. Sometimes you got something, sometimes you don't. Well, anyway, I've mixed that in with a bit of um, Model 1 Solid Cream just to get that sort of, you know, consistency. Also, because I don't want to be trying to go in this with two coats. So I'm creating that French. And the thing about this French is that I have the ability to look at it from my perspective, but also flip it over from the client's perspective because you can do that on some on some press on on some press-ons, you know what I mean? So here I am now using the Lavender Violets um, white polish brush just to make sure it's nice and flush. So I bring it all the way up to that line I drew so that I can bring that line down a bit because it is it is quite harsh, it is quite a higher level than the rest of the tip so I'm just bringing it down and making it sort of um, flush and um, see this one will be throwing out brushes y'all know I got some new brushes but listen to me beauty galleria oldie but a goodie for the win you feel me so here I am flipping it over from the client's perspective like I mentioned before and once I'm done once I once I consider this to be perfect you know whatever perfect looks like um, I will then go over and cure it for a full 60 seconds. I think even two minutes because I really wasn't tripping off of this. Like I like I was like, we need this to be perfect. So I'm stacking them up, literally the tips next to each other because I want those Frenches to be on the exact same level. I don't want any being shorter than the next or thicker than the next or any of that. So um, that's why. And on this smaller nail, I did, after talking all that, smack about you know beauty gallery 101 you know um i still busted out the uh, the maraca brushes so here i am now using gershon's top coat to seal that in and after that i will cure for 60 seconds full 60 seconds and then file the free edge and you guys that's the end of the video so technically speaking top coat time means it's the end of the video um if you haven't already liked it these like short little press on videos that i'm doing um please please give us a like leave us a comment i don't know these little classic looks i don't know i've been feeling them lately i mean people have been feeling them this has been a request you know what i mean anyway guys i love you guys for watching and i promise to see you in the next one i've got a lot of content coming up for you guys i've just got to stop being lazy and make the freaking voiceovers but um here you can see them all in their glory anyway i love you guys for watching promise to see you in the next one bye